Hi everyone, this is Brian with Anderson Pens. And today we're gonna to take a look at the Platinum Classic Machie. Let's take a look. All right, here's the box for the Classic Machie by Platinum. Now there are two distinct different boxes. Um, it looks like maybe Platinum may be doing uh, some kind of rolling change, but I'll show you this and uh, some of them are gonna come in this box, which is a nice, uh, very nice uh, paper sleeve here. And we have a nice bamboo box. And if I open this up, we've got our uh, instruction manual, uh, a little bit of information about the pen, uh, and the Kanazawa leaf. We'll talk about that in a, in a bit. Uh, warranty card, and there is our pen with our cartridge. So let's take a look. And real quick, uh, this is the other box that uh, sometimes the classic Machie comes in. It's a lovely little uh, scene on the, on the front. Uh, but just in case, uh, it looks like they may be transitioning towards this style of box. Uh, let's take a look at the pen. There are a number of these uh, in two distinct different series. Uh, there are Classic Machie that have, and this is screen Machie that's applied to the barrel. Uh, and one series has the Machie on the cap and the barrel, and the other has Machie only on the barrel. So let's take a look at this particular one. Uh, this is the autumn leaves, and you see we've got the nice uh, leaves here in different colors. We've got a little bit of green there, and this is applied with Kanazawa leaf, which is a very thin gold leaf. Uh, that is applied to the pen. And then these pens do have a, a thin coat of Arushi lacquer on here to protect the screen maquillé. Um, you'll see there is no signature. Um, this is definitely uh, not uh, as uh, strenuous of a, a, a job to make as a, a fully painted piece, but they're beautiful nonetheless. These are friction fit caps. And so we have a nice long section here, and we have an 18 karat platinum nib. Uh, and so these come in fine and medium, and we're gonna flip this around here and we'll see a little bit different style than your 3776. We have uh, a couple of rails here, kind of similar to Lamy and a couple other people, and the nib slides on to the semi-translucent feed here. Uh, so nice, secure. Um, Feed, uh, feed and nib combination. And like I say, these come in fine and medium. Now, interesting thing about this is uh, you can see the nib marking on some of these is actually marked in English, whereas some of them are actually only marked in Japanese. So you have to kind of know what the symbol for medium and fine is uh, in order to tell the difference. Um, but being Japanese, of course, the fine and the medium a little bit finer than your normal Western counterparts. So your fine is gonna be very fine and your medium is gonna be pushing, pushing the fine limit. Uh, there is no broad. Uh, 18 karat though, which is nice. Uh, they post well. And what's neat about the screen Machie is on most Machie pens, the general consensus is uh, do not post. If it's a postable pen, don't post it because the simple act of posting repeatedly uh, can wear down on the Arushi and the art and actually uh, cause damage. Now, Namiki and uh, Sailor have put uh, things in their caps uh, to prevent that from happening. But on this particular pen, uh, you really don't have to worry about it. Um, it's very, very protected um, and you don't have to worry about doing any damage. Uh, we've been using these for years without any noticeable change whatsoever. We've got a nice, gold clip here. Our top's got a nice little black jewel. Same to match the end. Uh, like I say, it's a cartridge converter pen. It comes with the cartridge, platinum only, yeah, but the uh, converter fits in there nicely. Let's take a look at the other version and we'll compare these two. So you'll see this version I have in my left hand has no screen work on the cap. So it's a plain black cap, but is otherwise uh, identical in all, all respects. 
Um, same nib, same section, they're interchangeable. But it also has a little bit different style of screen work. So I'm gonna bring out the whole tray here and we'll take a look at the difference. So starting on the left, we have the one we we're looking at, we have the autumn leaves, followed by one of my personal favorites, the cherry blossom, Sakura. We've got the nice pink, some light green in there. Really nice, nice looking pen. Uh, another favorite, uh, the moon and rabbit. And what's neat about this, there's a little purple in there. Uh, you don't often see a lot of purple, but this is distinctly purple, and then there's your, your moon. So again, that's made with thin gold leaf. They've perfectly shaped it and put it on there. We have the koi, the goldfish. That's kind of a neat one, that's very popular. Uh, and for those who are big fans of Mount Fuji, uh, there is the, the red Mount Fuji is what it's called. So that's neat. And when we get into the more plain, I shouldn't say plain, but the, the, more, the simplified without the maki and the cap, the design's actually a little bit different. You'll notice both of these are very, they don't have colors other than pretty much orange and gold. Um, um, let's take a look at uh, a writing sample. Okay, so I've got my Mount Fuji here, uh, and this has the 18 karat medium nib. And if you take a look at the nib, you'll see underneath the platinum logo, there's a little, what looks like a, a squished rectangle with a line through it. So that is, uh, that means that's a medium nib. And uh, I've got this inked up, and I've got my Rhodia pad here, my uh, Le Carrere graph, and uh, let's, uh, let's take it for a spin. Very smooth. And actually, for a medium, it's not too fine. Um, they're firm, there's no, there's no softness to them whatsoever. I know some people think an 18 karat nib should be more flexible, but these are, are firm, solid pens. You can, you can write with them very fast, but there is no flexibility uh, on these. You should not try to flex them. Um, really nice flow here. And uh, you, can, you can hear a little bit of uh, uh, classic Japanese feedback on the paper, but it doesn't translate to the nib. Um, it's very smooth writing and uh, a nice length in the hand. I have this one unposted. Uh, and it actually is, is for, for short writing periods, I, I typically use my pens unposted. And uh, this is very, very comfortable uh, in, this, uh, in this setting. So there you have it, the Platinum Classic Maquillet. Be sure to check us out online at andersonpens.com or stores in Appleton and Chicago. Thanks for watching.